Hello, and welcome back to another episode of The Workshop with me, your host, Marco Santos, also known as Mechanic Critic, and with me is more Bravery Network Online. In this video, we're gonna head back at the rank play and play some more uh, Pro Jeff. Let's go. Let's see whether Bonk Town can succeed or not. And if we lose again, we may need to reevaluate our strategy and reevaluate the way we play our team. So I'll see you after the queue finishes. All right, the queue finished, and now we're fighting Kathrune. Okay, so I know who this character is. I know this Fell character. As far as I know, um, yeah, if Fell has maximum batteries and they die, uh, Fell Fell goes godlike. Um, okay, so they don't have a lot of physical defense. Yasmin can come in here. Oh, and I don't believe any of them are faster than Yasmin, except for Fell. So I think um, unless. And they're not gonna bring Fell in, of course, because I believe, yeah, okay, this is a really bad matchup. So I think we wanna swap to Eric. Yeah, we're getting charge paneled. Yeah, Molly. This should be fine. Can Molly do field effects? I don't quite remember. I'll just disruption wave to see. Unless they do charge panel again. Yeah, okay. Now, see whether or not they charge panel. Lunch invite? I wasn't expecting that. It's fine, Eric's not... Tr I was expecting them to do more charge panels. Maybe Molly doesn't learn charge panel and I'm just being wrong here. Um, but yeah, the more we prevent them from gaining, uh, the better off we'll be. They cannot parry, because the moment that they parry, they lose Fel's ability. So I'm not particularly scared here. Yeah, I'm just gonna sh keep shooting off attacks. Okay, I believe Liz can, um, yeah, Liz can pretty much body me because my emotional defense. No, actually, no. Liz can't body me. I may have been reading that wrong. So if I just Blaze of Glory now, I take out Liz. And Liz is pretty tanky and annoying for the rest of my team. Probably the most physically defensive outside of K-Ban. I do think I should just Blaze of Glory now. Yeah, that we've gotten enough value out of Eric. Okay. So... Yeah, there are a lot of them are emotionally defensive. So I think I can bring out my Jane. Yeah. Jane's gonna be a good pick here. So what's your trait? Forgetful. Okay. So now I'm forgetful as well. And this lets me do bypass claws and hopefully kill this unless they swap into K-Ban. Which I don't think they will. I'll probably get lunch invited. Oh, bandaged? Okay. I'm just gonna keep doing bypass claws until they decide to do something else. Because there's a limited usage of um, bandages. And I believe I'll win out in this war. Because bandage only has four uses. Yeah. So they're going to need to swap into K-Ban at some point. Uh-huh. Let's go. And all of this is doing is gaining me energy. Ah, uh, there's K-Ban. Yeah, I should have read that. Hmm. But perhaps it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the most ideal. So I feel like I'm about to take an emotional attack, and Farron can probably deal with that. But Farron can't kill him. And I don't have enough defenses 
to deal with him. So the answer would be to swap the Farron. Or swap the Wendell. No, Wendell can't deal with him because he has decent defenses. Um, I wish I could parry right now. I think I need to tag in Farron. Admire, I believe. Yeah, there you go. That should up all of my stats on Farron, which is gonna be great. Okay, I'm getting some reads correct, at least. Now we just bribe you constantly. That will create some batteries for us. Yeah, they're doing charge panel. Okay, they're gonna have enough battery for Fell now, I believe. Not yet, okay. So if I flourish the bribe... Oh, okay, that's that's not too good. So I can just bribe them again. Again, they can't parry or else uh, Fell's ability turns off. Yeah, they're just buffing Farron. Hmm. This is really suspect. I don't know what's happening here. Because they're just making Farron stronger. Why didn't they just charge panel twice? Does charge panel only have one use? That is a very good question, Marco. And I need to check. Some of that info is what's needed to create, uh, to make those decisions. Okay, it's there, Eric. So we know that they can't parry. Because if they attempt to parry... Okay, wait, let's check. Charge panel only has two uses. Okay. So I will parry, and then I will attack them. And if they don't parry, I believe they die. And if they do parry, Fell doesn't get uh, their ability. Which means we're golden. Parried! <laughs> Toppled. Bam! Alright. Oh, they have Gloom Locket. Nice, 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 nice. So I believe this means I need to swap into Jane. Mellow. Uh, I believe this means that you get less feelings. That's what that means, right? Mellow. Yeah, you cannot give yourself feelings. So I'm gonna go bypass claws, because this one can't be parried. Oh, rebuild! Ah, that's really cool. But it's a good thing I have Bypass Claws. Which means you're gonna have to spam Rebuild, and you only have two uses of that, if I remember. Yep. So Bypass Claws again. Yeah, they're gonna get their Fell up and running, which is fine. This is just making me batteries, so, I, you know. Yeah, that's fine. They're not gaining any benefit out of this. Every time they do this, I'm just gaining a battery charge. I guess they're making me use up Bypass Claws. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go hand cannon this Eric, because using Bypass Claws again seems like a mistake. Yeah, we're just gonna hand cannon you. There you go. It's gonna be great. There's Molly. Is Molly slower than me? No, Molly is faster than me. Regardless, I'm gonna go bypass Claws Molly. Okay, now let's see whether or not we're gonna deal with Fell. Perceptive. Does that mean Fell can see our um, abilities? Perceptive. Yep. Okay. Now Fell has maximum everything. Fell can deal a decent amount of emotional damage. Um, Fell's weakest stat is... Oh, Fell has no defenses at all. So let's see, can we just bypass Claws? 
Nope, there's the unbutton. One eighty. So now we know they're faster than Wendell, which is probably fine. Can Farron tank that? I don't think Farron can tank that. Hey, but we can try. I believe the answer is the topple hammer here. Fairy topple hammer and hope it works out. I wish I had a way to break the opponent's batteries by forcing them to parry or something, which is uh, not a thing that we can do, but... Yep, we're gonna go topple you. Okay, we need to activate your power now. And they revive back at max HP. What was their locket? I can't control it. Okay, so now they always crit, and now I can't parry. Um. Oh, it didn't kill me. Doppler, let's go. Bang. Woo. Fair in, fair in, fair in, fair in, fair in. Good game, good game. Oh, that was really close. I won! Yay me! Oh, that was really fun. That was really fun. Um, okay, let's go into one more match. Uh, and I only got 86 sway from that, but that's okay. Let's go. Let's fight more. Oh, that was fast. We found another opponent. I didn't have even have to pause the queue. Oh, it's the same opposing team? Um, Alright, so now we kind of know each other's strats. Do I think they'll start with K-Ban now? Let's try tagging in Yasmin first. Ah, oh, they started with K-Ban. Nice read, nice read. So now I definitely need to swap. Um, I'll swap into, not Jane, um, I'll swap into Eric. Yep, they're gonna charge panel. It's gonna be really annoying. Uh, we're just gonna fireworks. Yep. They're gonna stay alive because they have the trait. Oh, they parried. Okay. Wait. If they parry, that means they can't do fell anymore, right? Uh, wait, what? K-Ban's ability is that... Okay. Ah, cool. Alright. This is gonna be fine. Because I don't think I've revealed that I have this other move. Um, hopefully not, at least. So we're just gonna go Blaze of Glory, uh, Flourish, and then this should just absolutely destroy everyone on their team. Alright, Eric just had enough physical defenses to stay alive. There we go. They had to use um, they had to use some charge panel charges for that, so that's good for me. I think they're gonna think I'm gonna put um, K Ban is slower than me, no faster than me. So K Ban doesn't have the tough trait. So I believe I just put Farron out there and we do some topple hammers. Okay, there Eric is here. I don't think I can get one shot. So we're just gonna do some topple hammers. It's gonna be fun. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. All right, all right, all right. I believe we can just bribe you continuously. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm just gonna assume that you're gonna be able to do your maximum... Um, What's your necklace? I just assume that I'm gonna have to deal with Fell at some point. So we're just gonna let this happen.
Yeah, just keep charging. It's fine. Okay, I guess. I don't know what this character does. So I'm just gonna go topple hammer. All right, crit lunch invite. That's fine. I can afford to do some topple hammers again. Yeah. Ah, that's why. But I believe my topple hammer deals more damage than that. So I believe if you do this again, you will die. Which is fine. Farron will die as well. But, you know, we get some value out of it. Oh, right. I forgot that swapping was a thing. Okay, and then there's Hungry. And the Hungry bodies me. Okay, are they all low enough that Wendell can attempt to sweep? Probably not. Jane tags in. You're right, I'm shielded now, which means I can parry and then we get some free... Um, yeah. There you go. I believe this should hurt anybody who comes onto their team. So, uh, quick parry. Uh, nice swap on my opponent's part. But this is really interesting that they swap to Eric. Um... Because now I can just bypass Claws. And there should be some easy pickings for me. Create a tempo with that move. Scanner. Ah, alright. But that's okay. I wasn't planning on doing anything with my defense like that anyway. I'm just here to come in and attack and deal damage. Molly tags in. I believe I can only get lunch invited. Yeah, and if they do some decoy stuff... Yeah, here we go with bandages. I'm just gonna keep attacking you. You're gonna run out of bandages at some point, Molly. It's a good thing that Bypass Claws has a ton of uses. It also prevents parries, which is so good. I love Bypass Claws. Okay, and they don't have enough energy at all to even go for Fel's ability, which is great. Back Pocket Locket. I wish I knew what that did. Oh, it gives them more uses out of their move, right? Yeah, that's what it does. I mean, I could keep doing this all day, friend. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this all day. We're both gonna run out of uses of our move. And then you're gonna have no moves left. And then I'm just gonna do a digital attack on you and you'll die. While I'm also earning tons of energy in the process. So if I do the math correctly, I do believe if I just keep bypass clausing, I should win. And I'm getting net benefit here because they're not getting ener any energy or charge, and I'm constantly getting charge. Okay, I do believe their last move is a lunch invite or something. Okay, they have no more uses. So I do think the correct move is to swap into Wendell. Cool. I'm just gonna do some fashion advice. And Wendell gets some sweep potential. Alright, with a bunch of parries on my side, Wendell is super safe. I love how in every one of these games, Yasmin has basically done nothing. But I guess that's kind of the point. So if I just do Fashion Advice again, um, I believe that should kill them. And if they parry, um, well, you know, they lose the battery and Fell does nothing. So they basically can't... Oh, wait, no. 
Because they're K-Ban, they can afford to parry. But that's fine, I have Gloom Locket. Oh, they didn't. Alright, I do believe that's a win for us. Yeah, especially because their, um, their fail wasn't able to accrue a lot of plus stats. Um, I do believe that their fell has like a plus bonus moves thing. So if I just fashion advice like this... Oh, I can't critical. Your foe's trait is now stylish. So there's no point in this. I should just uh, parry and fashion advice three turns in a row. And I do believe... Yep. I don't know what I just broke. Uh, but that's a good game. And I'm such a hot shot, Wendell says. As, uh, as they sit in their chair like an absolute gamer. Alright, that was a good game. Congratulations to me and good game, Catherine. Oh! We have a two-game win streak, folks. We have a two-game win streak. And with that, I do believe both of my fighters become confident in their new moves. Oh, so that was a really, really, really good game. Um, you know, when we end one of these sessions, I would also like to go to the locker room and assess my team and see, see what worked, see what didn't. So it seemed like if the opponent is savvy to my Yasmin plan, uh, they can just put in a team or put in a character that hard counters Yasmin, which is fine. This is why I have Eric and Wendell to basically pick up slack, right? If you concentrate too hard on countering Yasmin, Eric and Wendell can come in and then they will sweep your team. Eric is performing so well because uh, every time the opponent like pops out something, Eric basically one for ones at the very least. Sometimes he could 1 for 2, and sometimes he does a 1.5 for 2. I'm uh, sorry, a 1.5 for 1. Um, which is really good, because the opponent comes out, I deal some damage, they switch a new guy in, um, Eric explodes, and then they die. I really like that. Yeah, and I really like Flashy, because it generates more batteries for us. And why is that important? Because it fuels Wendell's parries so that Wendell can sweep. It also fuels parries for Yasmin so that Yasmin can sweep. Very good. Farron is working really hard and I really like it. I One thing I do notice though is that I kind of want less defense here and more defense here and like a bit less defense here and more defense here. Like the more I can bring up my stats close to above 40, the more it seems like I can tank hits. And one of my big problems in that match was that it seems like every digit... I couldn't swap as Farron so easily because I could get digital walled. Um, having more emotional defense and more physical defense seems like a diminishing returns thing where um, even if the ratio of how many points I get out of this 20 is smaller, I don't need more than 84 physical defense. I don't need more than 90 emotional defense. So I think that's going to be my new Farron build. The firm handshake was doing really well, but I kind of like want to do other things. Rust Spray, as I saw earlier, was actually really good. Uh, that Odette team was basically running out the moves on my moves to make my characters useless. And Rust Spray is also very pa fast. So I really like this. Topple Hammer Bribe Rust Spray seems like a good change for, um, for Farron. Eric, Disruption Wave isn't really doing much. Um, but that might just be because I'm not fighting against teams with pop-ups. My team doesn't really care about pop-ups except Wendell, who loses the ability on his Gloom Locket. But no other move seems to be particularly great. I guess Rebuild? Eh. I'm not particularly into any of these moves. Flare Locket's really good. Uh, how do I feel about Jane? Make Decoy has not been doing much because I kinda need Tempo. And basically, make decoy is only good if the opponent wants to swap out and I generate tempo by making decoys. But my point is that I'm really bad at reading. But there doesn't seem to be another move that would be a better fit. So I guess that's it. <laughs> so how do I feel about fashion advice, sob story, and snub? They're all actually pretty good. 
lot seems really interesting, but if your Wendell is damaged, um, your Wendell is gonna die anyway. We could attempt tripping, but I believe Wendell's physical damage sucks, right? Why does Wendell have such a high digital attack when, you know, he has no digital moves? Is there a... Is there a thing that converts attacks into digital attacks? That does not seem to be the case. I really want to understand how Puzzle Pendant... Oh, I realize now. If you make a mess team, Puzzle Pendant is good because you can make your characters slower. But if you have a mess, they're faster. And Yasmin is fine with uh, Yasmin's current moveset. Um, Lucky Pendant's really interesting, but I... Part of me kind of wants to do Fury Pendant sometimes. Or Alarm Pendant so that we have a fast uh, Longsword, for example. Regardless, I think this team is good. Let's save it up. So thank you so much for watching this episode of The Workshop. I do hope you all enjoyed the game. Um, and hopefully you had fun. So while this is saving, I'm not going to make you suffer through the waiting of saving this. So without much else to say, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I'll see you in the next video. Don't worry about that. I'll save it on my own time. Take care, folks, and bye.